Well, as of two this afternoon, Germantown city leaders giving the all clear to use tap water after residents flush out their system. Good evening and thank you for joining us. Germantown issued an emergency alert one week ago after detecting diesel fuel in its water system. And customers were advised not to use the water for anything other than flushing toilets since then. Now that the all clear is out, here's what you can expect when you turn on the tap. There will be some sediment of discol or discoloration. Leaders say not to be alarmed. It's just a result of flushing the city's water mains the past few days. The city says if you did not smell diesel in your home, just open the faucets and let them run for five minutes. But if you did notice a smell in your water, here's the way Germantown officials recommend you flush out your system. Start by letting a couple cold taps in your house run, then open each one, one at a time, and let them run for five minutes. Then repeat that step for your hot taps. And if you use that contaminated water for anything like washing dishes or clothes, rewash them. And be sure if you have an ice maker, empty it out and let some new ice filter through. Well, even though Germantown lifted its water order citywide, some residents are a bit hesitant to start using it right away. Stefan Reels is live from Forest Hill Elementary, where the city is handing out bottled water. They've been doing it all week. And Stefan, if the tap water is safe to drink again, why is the city still doing this drive? Well, Pepper, right now, what you're seeing behind me, this is being done as a precaution for people who still don't feel safe drinking the water. And right now, our viewers are sending us a lot of lingering questions they have, which include, is diesel fuel still in the pipes even after flushing is done? Even though Germantown lifted its water order Thursday afternoon and say drinking water can be used again, some residents are weary to turn on their tap. I'm not going to be doing that right away. Over the past week, many in Germantown laid out their demands to ABC 24 for clearer answers and accountability from city leaders. Let us know what's actually going on. ABC 24 made it our mission to get those answers. Thursday, I went down to Germantown City Hall and relayed these questions our viewers texted and emailed us. My name is Stefan Reels. I work with ABC 24. We were just trying to see if there might be anyone we'd be able to talk to. After waiting around for 20 minutes, a city spokesperson answered some of these questions, saying an end was in sight. A short time before the city officially lifted the water order. But many viewers still wonder, is there any diesel remaining in Germantown's pipes or filters? Randall Lynn with Choate's Plumbing says people need to be cautious over the next few days. Newer homes or plastic piping, it could still remain there. Lynn says there is a chance diesel could clog up the filters if those are still in place when you do start flushing. I would recommend that you remove the filter and flush it, or if you have a bypass, bypass that filter at this time. While you flush, Lynn recommends removing the aerator at the tip of your faucet. Plus, you can contact a plumber to do their own testing for your peace of mind. You have that water tested. Give us a call. We'll come out and inspect that for you and uh, see that you're drinking good quality Memphis German water. And Pepper, the city also answered a couple of other questions our viewers had on their mind. One, the city is going to be hosting a town hall that's planned for next week, and they will be sharing the test results from the water that they've been doing over the past week. Those just went public a little bit ago. Live in Germantown, I'm Stefan Reels. Certainly good to know. Thank you, Stefan.